morning and it, today is another one of those days where I could quite happily have dropped the kids off at school, driven home, uh, lit the fire and spent all day watching television. It's um, cold and wet again and uh, I don't know what it is with this weather but I just ache all over. I think it's a in and out of the warm house, warm car, into the cold all the time. It just makes all your muscles go tight and um, yeah, until um, I made it to the gym, which I did force myself to do this morning, uh, and now I feel loads better. So I'm, um, I can kind of do the masses of jobs that I, I've got in, in my list to, to do today. The first of which being I need to go to uh, the garage to price up some new tires. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I've come to um, my local ATS service centre, which is where I came to have my last tyres put on. Uh, and last time I came, uh, I spoke to, or I went via uh, Black Circles, which are an online um, company. You order the tyres there, and they tell you where to go to get them fitted. So um, I did that last time. While I was here, they said, in future, come and see us first. We might be able to beat the price, which is what I've done today. So I know what tyres I want. Um, I want the uh, Goodyear's efficient grips. They are the most efficient and they are the quietest tyres I could find. So um, anyway, I've popped in. They want uh, £180 per tyre fitted. Uh, on Black Circle, it's £110 per tyre fitted. So a massive difference. And um, he said, order them online. I'm not going to get anywhere near that. So that's what I'm going to go and do. Uh, trouble is, they won't get fitted today now, which is a shame. But uh, not to worry. Uh, the reason why I've uh, decided that I needed two new tyres, are two for the front. Now I knew they were getting a little bit low, but um, I was content driving on them, even in the, sort of the weather we're having at the moment. But um, we haven't had any snow here, where well, I know a lot of the country has had a lot of snow, but what we have had is a lot of ice. And um, the other morning, driving the kids to school, I was coming down the hill into um, the village where the school is. Uh, I had B mode on, and um, all of a sudden the front tyres, or certainly one of them, let go. Uh, it obviously hit ice and um, started to skid. It was nothing spectacular, it was a bit of a skid, it regained itself. But ultimately I wasn't touching the brake. It, it was because I was in regen. And um, obviously the friction that's required for the um, tyres against the, the, the road surface in order to um, create that energy going back into the battery is a bit like braking. It never occurred to me before that it would ever happen, but um, it's kind of a, a bit of a beware because having um, it happen to me that night and the next day, just um, doing my usual search around on the internet for bits and pieces about EVs, uh, I see it's happening to loads of people and it does seem like that extra friction it requires to regen, it just locks the wheels. So um, be careful and I would definitely recommend if it's snowy or icy, turn your regen down. Now as for the rest of today, uh, I'm just going to go and grab myself a coffee. Uh, it's more skateboard hunting and um, a bit more about ecotricity. Uh, a really, really interesting interview with Del Vince, the, um, the, the owner, founder of ecotricity, uh, with a few updates. Well, that worked out very well. Not only did I get a coffee and something to eat, I also managed to order those tyres online. Um, and they were £108 each fitted, but they can't now be fitted until next week, which is a shame. So I'm just gonna have to put up with what I've got for now. But um, you know, they're, they're not illegal by any stretch. They're just getting very, very low. And um, with the weather as it is at the moment, I'm just a bit conscious, especially if um, Sarah's driving the kids around. But anyway, that's sorted now. Um, so back to Del Vince and his interview. It was, um, it's a really, really interesting interview. And again, I'll put the link down below so you can read it in your own time. Because um, if you've got any interest at all in uh, EVs and green energy, uh, certainly here in the UK especially, because that's where his company Ecotricity are based, it, um, it makes for a really interesting read. Basically, the, the interview starts off talking about his history and um, how he got to where he was, uh, the electric car they produced, which ultimately gave them the insight to know that we need a charging infrastructure around the country. That's what was lacking, uh, and that's how he ended up working with Nissan, uh, and the electric highway was kind of born and put into all the service stations. So um, that's quite good from a history point of view, but then he talks about the future, and um, he talks about where he's going with his uh, green energy production. And one of the really interesting things was around him using grass to produce uh, green gases. Uh, and 
according to his figures, he could pretty much supply the whole UK on green gas through using gas to, sorry, through using grass uh, to produce it alone. And finally, uh, they're kind of looking towards a bit of, um, or diversifying a little bit. So they're looking at uh, waste management. Uh, how can they use the wastewater from our um, houses and recycle it so we can use it again? and they're going to um, introduce uh, what they're calling a green mobile network. Uh, basically they're going to piggyback another mobile network but the profits from that is going to be put back into um, buying land and habitats and um, basically looking after wildlife. So um, loads of stuff going on but that's all kind of a bit of an aside for me really. Uh, whilst I'm interested in green energy and supply and all the rest of it, for me the interest is EVs and um, as far as Ecotricity and Electric Highway are concerned, I want to know what they are going to do in the future to keep pace and um, hopefully continue the really good work that they've done up until now. Well, for all that driving around and messing around, five minutes later, uh, new skateboard in hand. Perfect. So that's pretty much Thomas's Christmas sorted now, which is great. So just a short drive then to the next place and um, chance just to try another little camera angle out. No idea what it's like, I'll have a look in a minute, but um, uh, I can give you a quick update also on what I found the most interesting part of uh, Del Vince's interview. Uh, and that was to do with his electric highway and uh, the future of how that's gonna look. And the most important thing for me is the way that you're going to be able to pay for it uh, and he said by summer next year they're going to do away with uh, all the the apps the uh, membership cards the way they see it is uh, using your credit card or your debit card uh, and he says the only reason it hasn't happened till now is because when they first introduced all these pumps that technology whilst it was here it wasn't really uh, a viable option for them well now um, there's no reason not to and uh, by summer next year you're going to be able to pay for your uh, electric highway charges by using your credit or debit card just tap it on the machine that's a massive step forward and the first real positive um, step in that direction that I've heard any company take there's other companies have said they're looking at it they're hoping to evolve to it but he said by summer next year that's what we're going to do because he understands what his customers want. Well, that was reasonably successful. Did manage to spend my voucher, but did manage to um, get a, uh, one of my final Christmas presents, which is great. Um, to be honest, I think the January sales are going to be better for that voucher anyway. This um, this shopping centre, I don't know, you probably can't see much of it now. Uh, it um, it's a reasonable size. It's not particularly big, but um, it's the kind of place that I would really like to see more chargers uh, because. If I'm coming here as a destination, I don't necessarily want to stop en route um, and then again on the way home or one or the other. I'd rather get here, charge my car while I'm doing my shopping and then it's ready to go when I leave. Uh, so I'd like to see uh, whether it can be legislated uh, that new build shopping centres have to have X amount of um, chargers uh, or whether it just happens naturally in the future. This is the sort of place I think that you could have rows of um, seven kilowatt chargers that people could then, they'll be sufficient that we could all just plug in, do our shopping and then come back to them at the end of, um, end of the day. Uh, and that brings me on nicely to the last point about um, uh, this interview. And uh, that's around the kind of the future of chargers and um, where electric highways see themselves kind of next year really. As it stands with Electric Highway, uh, all their posts are 50 kilowatt chargers. Uh, that means that uh, you can charge my Nissan Leaf um, from 0 to 80% in about half an hour. And that was always their kind of um, promotion, if you like, because they, they, this venture was uh, with Nissan, uh, and that is partly the reason why so many Nissan Leafs sold, because you could see that you could use them. Uh, what uh, Del Vince has said is that by next year, they will have introduced uh, 350 kilowatt charge posts. Now, those cars aren't really in circulation at the moment, but they will be, and they will be very, very soon. Uh, and that is gonna mean um, a massive uplift in charge times. It's gonna be so much better. It's gonna be getting us closer to what it would take to refuel a car uh, with fossil fuel, which can only be a good thing. So batteries are getting bigger. That's 
that's great news so we're going further and then when we do need to charge the charge rates are getting faster and um, electric highway are jumping on that bandwagon and keeping up with the rest of the industry so um it's really really good news all round and um that for me is a really positive interview with somebody who's made a real difference to um, EVs and to um, just green energy in general to be honest but from my point of view for EVs uh, without I've said it before without the electric highway uh, I probably wouldn't have bought uh, a Leaf it's not that I've used it a great deal but that unknown time when I thought I was going to need to charge up and do these journeys it was because there was these uh, chargers in every service station that made me believe that owning an EV was was completely normal and completely possible and that's it for today really I've um, got to go home sort uh, some dinner out as usual and um, I think we have a carol service tonight that um, Annabelle's singing in so we've got to go and watch that uh, so yeah so if you've enjoyed today's vlog remember to uh, like and share it and if you're not doing so already subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon take care